Hey guys, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown. We have a UFO landing site in Canada, so we're gonna go wrestle bears and, and whatever the fuck we do in Canada. And uh, and here we go. Um, so we have the team I wouldn't change. I know I have Ghost Armor. Ghost Armor is way too expensive right now for me to get. I will get it very much for me in the next month. So this is the last mission my, my snipers will be without Ghost Armor, so it's okay. So don't even worry about it. You can chillax, everybody. So now we're in Canada. Strike one. Prepare for landing. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Yeah! Reports indicate the UFO is set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Dude, I live here. So, here we are in Canada. In a very foresty kind of, uh, of Canada, part of Canada. Which is all of Canada. Big sky. We're in position near the enemy LZ. Strike one is ready to move on your orders. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. Uh, let's move him here. Okay, we're good here. And we're just gonna move everybody into sniper positions. Okay, that's it. No more moving anybody else out of out of range. That uh, was that was it. That was all the risk I'm willing to take. And uh, you know, this is actually a pretty good throw. I, I probably shouldn't have ended the turn so prematurely, but you know, I, I really like that. That's really high ground. What what the what the hell is that even? Kind of is a weird place. It's strange. Let's go. Let's go have a look. Uh oh. We have contacts. Oh, they're, it's their garbage pile. <laughs> Damn. It always begins with mutons. How is that immune to miss? Come on, man. Step it up. Well, they're in horrible places. Okay, so I can't... Let's see, where can my, who can my sniper hit? Thank you. You can hit him. For 100% to chance to hit. Nice job. Well, now we're taking care of him. Let's see who else did, needs their upgrade. Uh, let's see, Volkov is already... He's upgraded. He's upgraded. He's upgraded. XXX Snipes is not. So, here's what we're gonna do. Well... I don't know what I'm actually going to do. Because I, I, I thought this would be a 100% guaranteed chance to hit. 70% apparently. Okay, he's not happy. We, we could stun him, but you know. But this, this is mostly up to tactical. Oh, sorry, no. This is XXX Snipes for you. Close enough. kind of like how it's like danger close uh, and he's just gonna end his turn he's not gonna use his double tap ability so that went away unfortunately but that's that's okay yeah they have like it's just like garbage piles for some reason this is not this is not the Canada I grew up in just to let you guys know uh, well guess there's not much else to do here but uh just move up here with everybody And you'll overwatch. So I just reloaded everybody. Might as well. I like to do that on at least one of my turns. Uh, alright. We have contacts that way. There we go. Okay. Uh, here's the thing. I would actually love, absolutely love, to bring my guys up here. This is like, it's like the highest point in the map. Do we even know where the UFO is though? It's like, kind of down here though. So let's start investigating. Well, maybe not. Uh, we'll you know what? We'll just continue. That's okay. Pretty sure my snipers will get sh their opportune shots off. Putting them over here would be pretty good too, you know. I mean, they'll be okay. 
it's it's a crashed UFO. It's not all about the best place humanly possible to go. Although, you know, that's that's probably what XCOM is all about, anyways. This is kind of an interesting map though. I've never been on this one in particular. Oh, hello. Alright, well let's have a look around, shall we? Oh, here we have their contacts. What? Hi. Where the fuck are these guys? They kind of just teleported. Fucking great. How often is this shit gonna happen to me? Fuck. I'm sorry, that's, that's just beyond ridiculous at this point. It's just like constantly over and over again. Alright, well, let's just move Volkov in a position to basically move everybody over to cover somewhere. Alright guys, spread out on the forest like you need it. I don't know how you can meet it, but you know, whatever. We gotta get those guys, because they triggered in a very odd place. I, I think it's just the game fucking me, like it's just, it, it enjoys doing that, it seems. Okay, so the guys with the most moves, um, I don't know quite where to put them. I don't really want to put them anywhere dangerous, but yeah. Uh, guess this is what we'll, well, no, I'm not here. Like it's just, I'm looking for full cover and I'm not finding it right now. I'll just go over here then. Okay, so here's what we're gonna, we're gonna hope that they come into range of me. Alright. That's why we're just gonna keep overwatching. We're gonna hope that they're coming, but if they're not, then we may not have much of a choice. We'll do one more turn after this. And this is this is the last one, then I'm just I'm assuming that they just decided that oh there we are. No, these are completely different enemies. <laughs> great, great stuff. Eventually, someone will run into your line of fire. You know, Mr. Shiv, that really didn't look like he missed. I, I call bullshit on that. Alright, well. Let's see if we can start off with our snipers. Snipers have a very good, excellent shot of hitting. And that was like through a tree and everything. That was like the best trick shot I've ever seen. And that, uh, I think Volkov just did, really hates trees, so that's why I didn't finish that off. Okay, so let's see. We got an 85 on that. Okay, you know what? I, I have two. I have two very high chance of kills, so I'm gonna take those guys first, and then the last one I'll, I'll figure out how to handle him after that. Especially since there's two guys in the forest there, I don't want to be really moving up on it either. Alright, and what do we have? Uh, we have a 30% right here. We have our supports that can move up on them. And yeah, that's pretty much all we got. So I think that's what we're going to do. So, uh, start off by suppressing. This may ruin his cover. It is not going to. However, we can, we, we're free to take shots. Because this, it also acts as a, as an overwatch, so. You know, against all odds, that actually worked. I wasn't actually expecting that at all. So we're going to move up. Whatever those mutons are gonna come up now. 
see if they do. Because we will be waiting. Uh, I guess they're not. Okay. Well. Oh, no. Wait. Never mind. I jinxed it. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. It's, yeah, it's just better just to wait for them to come to us, you know? We hear one. Where is he? Why the hell my angles? What? Okay. That was fucking weird. My angle is kind of stuck in, in looking at him. Like, I don't really get it. It doesn't for that one. Dare I just uh, overwatch again? Just wa like, just wait for them to constantly run into my fucking guns? <laughs> Apparently, yes. What the fuck? Stop. This is... <laughs> XCOM is a bug-free game. Oh god, this is annoying me. Alright, we're, uh... Repositioning everybody to look down that area. Uh, that's a good angle. Don't you? I, I'm so glad that I I don't have to worry about ammunition with this guy. Cause how annoying would that be? All right, just moving everybody back. This one. Like he, he, can, he can have full cover here, but I don't even know about that. Alright, let's, let's try this. I love this game. I'll we'll see if they come into us. I mean, come on. It, they've, they've so far, every single time, have done that. Uh, looks like they may not want to do that today. Ah, oh, damn it! I didn't jinx, jinx myself again. All right. Well, he can go there next turn. My heavy can now move up here. And here we get. Here we got an opening. I don't know where he. Like, they're just kind of. Chilling in the UFO here, apparently. Is that all we can do? Oh, wait, no. Here he is. Ha! <laughs> Sniper's now coming in. No, I haven't even had to go near the UFO, but they, I'm just getting all these shots off. Nice! You know, I was debating actually moving her to begin with. And you have a shot on him too? I love you, Sergeant Dead. I really do. I appreciate everything you stand for. <laughs> That's fucking great. Alright, well, let's go up here and see what we have. And I'm, I'm like still not reloading my weapons, because I just like, I don't really care. Alright, let's go up here. Appreciate it from him over here. These snipers are ridiculous for just covering my team. I love them. Oh wait, one more turn, because I, I I think there was there was another muton there. I don't know why we don't see him yet. Let's see if we can figure out where he is. Okay, so he, just, he fell back to the UFO clearly. Oh, never mind. <laughs> they just run into me. <laughs> this is a very special episode of XCOM. <laughs> They're just running out all around, all over the place. All right. Uh, can you really blame me for right now just wanting to just overwatch everything? Why can't you do it? You don't... Do you guys not have enough ammo? I guess not. One more time. Just, just come on. It, it, it's, been, it's been happening so far. Oh, it's like a sectoid or some shit. Alright, fine. Let's get our asses up there. So, judging by the amount of uh, 
enemies like mutons and whatever that were just clown carning carrying their way out of the uh, the UFO there. You know, you can pretty much just assume where they are at the end, but I'm still playing very careful. I can't just simply dash in there. You simply you don't know, uh, but you know, you can assume at this point. That, yeah, it's it's okay. So, um, so I'm bringing everyone along for the ride and. Uh, but yeah. Oh, by the way, it's post commentary, Mike. If you didn't figure that out already, you know this one. This one wasn't that long, but still, I, I, I it was amusing. I, I kind of just like the fact I barely had to move, and they just still came to me. That was, you know, usually you don't like that, but uh, I found it fun in that case. Also, we're hearing sectoids right now, uh, so that's what we're kind of being careful about. So, uh, well, you know, being careful, yeah. I kind of want my sniper now to be there because you know maybe I can get a shot off that I, I would like to have. You know, it doesn't sound like you really should be there. I was thinking cockpit, but let's see. Oh, you fucking kidding me? There's two of these fuckers. All right. Here's the plan: one of them has to die, and one of them has to be stunned. All right, let's see. What's your chance to hit? So the sniper is very good at this kind of stuff. Um, Thirty-three percent. That's not good. I'm gonna try and. I could try and play the odds. I also could possibly try to rocket them. Okay, so we're very, very up close to them. My stun is 4%. <laughs> I just wanted to see that. Alright, you know what? You know what? He's got 40%. So I was thinking of just not moving with him. Okay, you know, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, and take another shot. No, that's not what I wanted. Alright. Okay, well, we're gonna kill one of these guys today, so. Guess we'll try with him now. So it means 45. Come on, just, just come on. It's like, all, all these odds stacked together, it, it, it just seemed like I could do it, but apparently not. Okay, so now we're gonna flank him and kill him. Get out of here, you fucker. What are, where are his chances on this one? 70. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> Damn! Alright, well, let's just finish him off with uh, this guy then. We also have Dan here. But, you know, XXX snipes should do it. Alright. Let's move my sniper over here to get one shot off with uh, this gun right here. Uh, actually, this is probably a bad idea. Because uh, he's he, it's what he does when it's his turn. Oh, two damage? That's all you did? You're fucking bone now, son. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and you can do the seven damage. Good stuff. All right. So, let's just say we have this one in the bag. Time to start stunning. <laughs> We've got the perp, 95%. Yeah. Another one down. Good work, Commander. <laughs> that was kind of retarded, but yeah, we did it. <laughs> I kind, I kind of just let him shoot me, and I didn't even give a shit, and he did two damage. I. Yeah, they're they're supposed to be able to mind control you, but this guy kind of. He was retarded and decided to attack me. I guess he just kind of knew his time would come. Or maybe he just doesn't really like Sergeant Dan. Who knows? It occurred to me after that maybe well he would have done, done something worse. It's always good for morale when everyone makes it home safely. And this is actually kind of cool because you can get um, more damage on suppression and area of effect, which is like either grenades or rockets. So your rockets will do more damage. Um, and it's like plus three damage based upon this weapon, because it's like, this is a level three weapon, tier three weapon, so he'd get like, 
another three to his attack whenever he suppresses. Um, or another three damage to his rockets. Or, you know, no, like stuff like that. So, you know. That's, that's actually, it sounds kind of cool. Let's do that. Why not? I, I looked it up after because I was curious. certainly seem to have a knack for capturing alien subjects alive. I only hope they realize how important their work is in relation to ours. Please, pass on my gratitude to our forces. I certainly will. So you want to research that now? Go interrogate them. Cyanex research credit earned. Okay. Uh, and so at this point, I would almost say actually the uh, the guided fusion launcher is what I want now. Because I'm looking at the rest of this and this is none of this. I you know maybe the alloy cannon if I decide to get a shotgunner. But this is, I'm using heavies a whole lot. I'm not going to get it installed. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I like I like the way my team functions right now. You know, we got a lot of heavy, heavy hitters. Um... I kind of use my supports as if they were things anyways. I, I don't get that run and gun ability, but yeah. Alright, well, uh, thermal generator is coming up, and we're just waiting for funds and shit like that, so... You know, I only have seven bucks, so might as well finish a month. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. So all countries, panic levels are minimal, because uh, there's no more abductions whatsoever. Uh, I get all the maximum money and the maximum monthly award, and this is just like this is just in August, uh, August 2015. That's that's pretty good um, for Iron Man Classic. I would say definitely good. It's like an A. We the, will be in touch, Commander. The only A I I'll, I'll ever get. All right. Uh, let's see here. I was thinking of building a bunch of, like, a whole thing of workshops here. Uh, we could also make a hyperwave relay. Might as well make some workshops. I don't know what else to do. It's all this fucking money I have. And I, I, I can't afford it anymore. Alright. And it, here's our thermal generator, so this is going to be our new source of power from now on. Uh, well, at least in the perspective of, yeah. It's done. Okay, carry on. Uh, and so, I don't know, I, f I figure I might as well finish this, this row here. Uh, and then probably I'll just, well, actually I'm going to remove this first. Wow. These cost a lot more than I thought they did. Alright. Whatever. Let's get another. Let's get the hyperwave relay. We are probably gonna have to make another power generator. Uh, I'll probably make it down here. It sucks. I know. Oh, I don't have to make it there. Oh, I might as well. Edlerium generator. Kind of sucks that I, the workshops are kind of like in a weird place, but you know. I can make more workshops like here. I don't even know what the hell the point of that area is, but yeah. Alright, well there you go. That's it for that. Uh, what kind of foundry products do we have? We can get repair, which is for shivs, alien grenades, which we already have two of them. Uh, and we would never actually use more probably, so that's it. We're good. Uh, I can buy uh, ghost armor, but I'm going to wait until uh, we get our mission to do that. Because we get also a fusion, guided fusion launcher, and also the the two workshops I made might complete, which will make them cheaper. So now we got the nice little blaster launcher, which is an even better uh, uh, kind of weapon. We don't have a whole lot of weapon fragments, to be honest. There is nothing here I, I want to research. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new... Okay, whatever. Oh, what? Uh, I did not read that. That was a pending request. Artifact sales. They wanted me to sell three flight computers. I don't know if I will do that. And I can actually sell the, I can sell the heavy floaters, sure. Let's go get three scientists, why not? Uh, the reason why I'm gonna, well, I don't know if I'm gonna wait on that, because you see, um, 
the blaster launchers actually use fl UFO flight computers, so I don't know if I'm going to get a refund on those, and I don't know. I'll wait until I get the next mission. Finally, the thing I was waiting for. Um, okay, so this is how it's gonna work. Uh, we want uh, as many Psy soldiers as we, we can possibly handle, actually. So this is what we're gonna do. I don't think um, most of my current team is gonna do that. I, I kinda wanna just level them up. Uh, level up some more ones, maybe. Maybe not Dan, per se, because I don't think Dan or uh, the other guy have gone down, but Mr. Shiv is probably going to have to be replaced because he's his will is really low, and I, I'm going to get some high will frontline soldiers basically. The snipers are always in the back, so the snipers probably don't have to be changed, but the heavies and uh, heavies and uh, uh, supports actually probably will have to be. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of a process because I have to basically take them on missions and shit. So so we get five alloys and five uh, Illyrium. So we carry on. It, as I said, it is going to be a little longer before we do that. We can now submit our soldiers for testing within the Psy Lab. Once we have a complete report, I'll notify you with the results. Our current research implies a strong link between a candidate's willpower and their psionic potential. We're hoping that one or more of our existing soldiers will meet the necessary requirements. I may bring someone along if they're... Uh, if I know that they'll have um, Psy, uh, someone I've already leveled up, I don't know. Um, I'll, I, I'll see. But as it stands, I just, um, I, I'm just i trying to see if these guys are psychic, so... You know, that's the plan right now. And so pretty much everything else I'm already done with, so... Uh, let's keep the world spinning. Do those workshops finish? How fucking cl close are those to being done? It's like one day. Uh, can we like wait a day? Let's try it. We haven't scrambled our fighters to intercept the latest UFO contact. Oh. Let's hope it doesn't do any serious damage. Oh, it was a thing. Uh, I had to bring it down. Oh, whatever. The I don't new care. engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. I wasn't actually supposed to do it that way, but yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. I have my panic levels are in the in this shit, so it's okay. And there we go. We got some more engineers, but I might as well wait until the next contact now. We're picking up a new contact, and it's generating a strange signal, almost like it's scanning for something. Is it scanning for my ship that has the EMP? Probably. I have stealth satellites too, so it wouldn't it wouldn't take anything. Bangs down. out. So this is the only. Sh target now. Holy fuck! This thing is huge. Oh, oh, oh. oh, damn. Well. All then, A-Team, you're going to have to go there for next time, but uh, right now we're going to get uh, everyone equipped with... I'm going to do this prior so that I don't fuck this up. Um, so we got two Ghost Armor, and how many Blaster Launchers can I get? Yes. And I don't want combat stims or anything like that. All right, so let's 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 equip everyone now. And so I'm going to show you this real quick because this is fucking awesome how they look. The troops should have no trouble handling recon duty as long as they're equipped with this suit. It's as close as we've come to true invisibility. So the reason I have this on my guys is because I think it's much more better than. Titan armor because they're in the back because they can get um, cloaking gives them either a full crit they can have a full crit on their next turn um, also if I put them into if they're in a ship position it prevents them from being attacked as well which I think is much better and I can you can also do a thing I'm pretty sure that where you can cloak and dash so I can dash them to a spot knowing that they will not shoot on their next turn but it's very much low risk from my perspective at least so that's what I'm doing and these guys will get their uh, new blaster launchers. It's like all green and, and shit. But it's a very large contact, so we're gonna have to see what that is for next time. So until then, we'll be watching.